Buffalo's Sistine Chapel exhibition is here in El Paso. The exhibition will give El Pasoans a chance to engage with Rome's most iconic artworks. ABC 7's Eriberto Perez was at the exhibition today and shows us what you can experience. He files this report. I'm standing outside Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel, the exhibition here in San Juan Park Mall, where the exhibition barely opened in late September and so far has received a good response from the community. The reaction's been really positive. Everybody's really happy to see it. Um, some, you get some people who've been to Rome and they have seen the Sistine Chapel in person. And you have some people who say, you know, this might be the closest I'll ever get to it. The exhibition brings the paintings from the Sistine Chapel ceiling in Rome to the El Paso ground so can, people can see the painting up close and also to know each work of art they brought here. People in charge of this experience told me they are happy to see people's reactions and how positive they are towards the artwork. It's, it's a great experience to be able to bring the art to the people, to the communities, for those that um, maybe have not yet gone to go see the art in person. The exhibition opened on September 30th and it has received plenty of people and actually better than expected. They opened to a sellout crowd for their ribbon cutting ceremony. Site manager Andrew Davis told me the perks of visiting it and the difference between this and the Rome one. When you, go, when you do go to the Rome and the Vatican, you get 15 minutes, you can't take pictures. Here you're allowed to take pictures. It's an audio guided tour. In that way, people are able to take their time and appreciate each piece of art. I also spoke with Juan Carlos Castillo, who was joined by his family to watch the exhibition. It's a great opportunity to witness some of the greatest you know, uh, the, the paintings and everything that Michelangelo did. He also knows the perks of having this exhibit in our city. Uh, for someone like us, I mean, of course, going to Italy would be ideal, but it's not that easy to just jump on a plane and make such a long trip. I asked Andrew which artwork was the one people looked for the most. I have to say it's a toss-up between the creation of Adam, that's a really popular one, or my personal favorite is the final judgment. And I also asked Juan Carlos which piece of art was he looking forward to see the most. The one that is very famous, where the god is touching the, the finger of the human. If I can see that, and I don't know if there are a lot of pictures of not, but I would love to see that. And the exhibition will run until January of next year. If you want to learn more information about the exhibition, you can look for this story on our website, kbia.com. Reporting from Solomon Park Mall in West El Paso, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. If you would like to go and visit the exhibition, it is open Tuesday through Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can purchase your tickets online or on the site, and they encourage all visitors to bring a mobile device to complete a tour.